Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Lim Toys RPD Officer Police Uniform Version. It does say S version up there with the gold typewriter that I guess shows that it's a special edition. It is Bio Evil 2. And I gotta give a huge shout out to Andrew from Toyco because I didn't pre-order this figure at all. I didn't have any interest in this figure, but then I started seeing the accessories and pictures and some reviews. And I'm like, I gotta get this figure. So I hit him up. I said, if you end up getting any extras, let me know. I'll PayPal you right now. And sure enough, he hit me up. He says, I got an extra. So I ended up getting this and... Man, the artwork on the box looks fantastic. And some of you, as I'm talking, are probably like, RPD officer, police uniform, why doesn't it say Leon Kennedy? I guess it's basically licensing issues, why it doesn't say Resident Evil. But Bio Evil, I do believe, is what it was called in Japan, if I'm not mistaken. I know some of you guys are going to probably correct me down below. But it's probably, see, probably some sort of licensing issue. That's why you don't see it say Leon Kennedy and stuff like that. But it does say RPD for the Raccoon Police Department. And it does say Bio Evil too, and uh, the box is done in this like matte finish on both sides of the box and the top of the box. It does say Lim Toys Bio Evil Two RPD Officer Police Uniform Version. On the back of the box, it's a bunch of legal notices, some uh, websites to check out, who made the figure, and uh, it does have a little umbrella logo. So Leon comes with a stand and actually says his name on there on a sticker. Has like a little badge and umbrella logo. And what's really cool about the stand is it does say RPD Raccoon City Police. Or well, Raccoon Police. But still, very cool. Almost looks like they took a chunk of the floor out of the police station or something. Looks like it's on wood. It's just a really cool design, honestly. And the stand's pretty cool itself. It's like a mini... like sort of like hot toys sideshow stand has the wire system can adjust it but one of my little nubs easily falls off like i think it's this one or this one that's yeah, this one yeah it pops off so it's like it's not really wanting to stay on and i don't want to lose it so i got to try to find a way to stick it on there but it's still cool we're getting a nice mini version of like a hot toy stand Leon comes with a ton of accessories, so I'm just going to go through them as I take them out of the package. And we got ourselves a nice looking pistol here with some gunmetal paint at the top and uh, for the slide. Looks really nice. Has a muzzle hole for that effect piece if you got any. I don't know if it comes with this one off the check, but uh, still a really cool pistol. The magazine does come out. It's in there a little bit nice and snug so you don't have to worry about falling out. Painted bullet. Lim Toys really thought of everything when it came to this figure. If uh, having the standard pistol wasn't enough in the game, you could upgrade your guns and add attachments. And well, here you got that same gun with a stock extended mag and a muzzle. And uh, again, looking really good. The extended mag is removable with the painted bullet. Just really cool idea to add the upgraded version of the pistol now leon comes with that classic beretta and it looks really nice we got the muzzle opened up so you can put some effects in there got a little icon or logo in the grip grip has texture there's paint all over this thing and this one also has a removable magazine with the bullet painted we also get a upgraded deagle that looks really nice Again, they did a really good job on all these guns, having the muzzle flash holes so you could put effects in there, the paint work, the sculpt work. Really good job with Limb Toys doing this stuff and all of them having removable magazines. You just got to get in there. And they painted the bullet. Like, I love it. A lot of people may not like removable magazines and fear of losing them and stuff like that, but I like it because you can add a lot to like your fig photography and your displays. Here we get a box of ammo to go with those pistols, and it says maximum standard on there. Got some nice image on there. Almost a full case. Three rounds are missing. 
and I just love the detail on this thing. The whole box has detail on it. It looks so freaking good. Now, you know, when you run out of ammo, you got to bust out that trusty combat knife. And we get one of those as well. Nice painted gold, has the silver. I mean, this thing even has the front spot where it could go on the barrel of a rifle as a bayonet. This thing is a sexy blade. He comes with so many small accessories. It's crazy. We do get a grenade with the painted pin and it looks just like a grenade should. Now, if you don't want to blow people up and you just want to blind them, we do get a flashbang. And I love how the actual font is readable. And this thing is tiny, but it has all this sculpted and painted detail. Here we have a tiny little security bracelet. And this is to get you access through Nest to get through all those uh, security doors. We also get the culprit at hand, the G-Virus right here, a little sample test tube. It's got a little bit of light blue on the actual tube, which is a little bit of a bummer. But still, this thing is super tiny, and it's cool that we got a little G-Virus sample. You're not going to be running around with the G-Virus sample without a vaccine. We got the vaccine here looking amazing, tons of detail. The paint they chose, just, it looks great. Limb Toys is crazy with the amount of accessories they put in their special editions and how tiny they go. Like, we get four keys here. You can see one's the... You know, a heart, one's a club, one's a spade, and one's a diamond. But we get these four keys, and they're all, like, just sculpted and everything. And they're tiny as can be. And they look amazing. It's got the metallic paint in them. Now, if you're going to be going around in some dark hallways or exploring, you definitely need a flashlight. And we do get a really well-sculpted flashlight even the inside looks really nice. You can see like the LED. Let me see if I can get it to focus a little bit better. Look at that. You can see like a little bulb. That's so awesome. When the zombie outbreak happens, you're going to need to call backup and we get a radio to do so. And it has tons of sculpt work in it. They use that metallic glossy paint to make the little like screen pop on this black plastic and it looks great got all the knobs and the antenna all sculpted on there texture throughout even the back has like the the screws and the paneling and then we got this cable that goes all the way up here it's like a little i think it's really metal i'm not going to overly stretch it because i don't want to stretch it out but it does bend and move around and it leads up to that little CB intercom that can clip on to his shirt or just have it in his hand. We also get a nice collectible item that throughout the game you wanted to look for these little raccoon trophies. And this thing is just wild. Again, tons of paintwork into this simple little sculpt. And it works. Here we get a very iconic accessory, and we get the green herb, and uh, it looks great. It looks like a plant, and uh, I do get a little confused because they have a yellow band around the, the pot, and some of the leaves are slight greenish yellow, so I'm like, wait, is it yellow? Or is it a mix? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be, just be the green herb, and it's awesome. I mean, <laughs> we all knew what the herb was, you know, that, that they had to do to cope with this zombie outbreak. And back in the day, kiddies, we didn't get to just press start and save the game. We actually had to go to specific rooms that had these little typewriters to save the game. And they gave us one, and it looks amazing. All the letters are on each key. This thing is just chock full of detail and dry brushing. It looks great. We do have some uh, read-up information in here. Let me see if I can get it to be clear here trying to focus there September 28 1998 Claire if you made it this far you're almost out of the city I got to take care of something before I leave but I need to tell you something in case I don't make it this was all umbrellas doing let the people know Leon that's pretty crazy that's like it is very very small 
very small fonts, but this typewriter is awesome. And they hollowed it out just right to where it's not overly heavy, but it's still a nice chunk of plastic. And the actual paper is like a, it's like a glued down piece of paper, almost like a feeling of like a sticker. Leon does come with a pump sawed off shotgun and it is painted very well. Everything that has been, <laughs> that I've looked at accessory wise has been painted and sculpted very, very well. We got a fabric sling with a bunch of detail on it and uh, the metal clasp up in the front. And we do get a pump feature with the shotgun as well. Does not have a muzzle flash type of barrel, but you could probably still get some sort of effect to plug it right in there. We got a rocket launcher, and this thing is, has like metallic green paint sprayed on it, looking great. The optics have like this crazy purple metallic y, I don't know what they used, but whatever they did works and it stands out, looks great. Back looks good. Handle is thin, but it works. You got the sling right there. Got the missiles loaded. One hole's empty. You can see that like two tone in the green. Looking gorgeous. And you have this with the empty hole because you got to fill that hole. You're going to put the rocket. And this whole thing can go in here, but it's snug. So I'm not going to force it all the way in there because I don't want it to get stuck and snap off right there. But we get ourselves a launching rocket. Look at how beautiful that looks. And I saved the craziest sculpted, craziest weapon for the end. Even though I love the rocket launcher, this flamethrower has so much crazy detail. It is ridiculous. The paint on it is insane. We got the warning labels on the tank for the fuel. Got the tip of the flamethrower like tinted because of the heat we got a wire going up to the actual nas uh or the the valve should i say and that thing is sculpted nicely it's it's a flamethrower that they sculpted so perfectly it is gorgeous it is so freaking awesome now a lot of this stuff looks brittle i'm not gonna lie with the rocket launcher like the optics handle um this one with all the wiring and stuff i'd be afraid of just like putting this into a bin with parts or anything so i'd either put it back in the package or definitely wrap it up in some bubble wrap because it, this stuff looks like it would be very delicate um when it comes to all these little details but we're not going to get a flamethrower <laughs> without an effect piece okay so this just ports right in here plugs right in so you can have your flamethrower just blasting away so you can toast up some zombies. Leon comes with a pair of fist hands equipped. Leon comes with a pair of trigger finger hands. We also get some grenade holding support hands. We get a one-off left hand that is basically can hold the box of ammo uh, loosely. But it's a true support hand for maybe the rocket launcher or something bigger. And last but not least, we get one more left hand that's just by itself, and that is a gripping hand for that combat knife. We have an up-close look at Leon's alternate head. This is more of his battle damage head, and whoever's sculpting for limb toys and did this head sculpt deserves a raise because this head sculpt is amazing. It's some of the best, it's the best head sculpt I've seen in a long time in this scale. Like, the detail is insane. The I mean, look at the hair. How they were able to capture that shine and sheen as if it's like real hair. And it's just plastic. We got a little bit of gloss for the eyes to make them look wet. His teeth have like a little bit of a gloss. Where the blood's at has gloss. They knew how to paint and sculpt their figures. This head sculpt is phenomenal. The head sculpt's great, but the paint that was done to it makes it stand out even more with the glossiness on the eyes, making them look wet. And how they did the hair is just amazing. I love how it has that sheen to it. It almost looks like real hair. 
Then he has his RPD, you know, bulletproof vest. Then we also have his little raccoon police badge thingies on his patches on his arms. And speaking of patches, we do get a uh, RPD patch on the back. Nice and Velcro-y looking. We got some nice little hard plastic elbow pads that have some sculpted in detail and dry brushing to dirty them up. And uh, got this nice little soft undershirt going on with his uniform. Gloves look good. He's got a holster for his gun. Bunch of holsters for a lot of items. Sheath for his knife. Little pair of handcuffs that can't come out, but they do look really nice. The whole police belt is nice. And I moved him around to where his shirt came untucked, and uh, that is a pain in the ass to try to tuck the shirt back in. So be careful of overly po posing him, <laughs> unless you plan on getting like two swords or something from another figure to try to help tuck him in, because that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, he does have little pockets and everything all over these pants. Strappings for everything look really nice. Knee pads, just as badass as the elbow pads. Got that dirtiness to them. Really love this figure. And then we got these police sort of like type of shoes. Boots, I guess they're boot shoes. Now diving into articulation. He has a lot of articulation you would expect. His head is pretty much, if you take the head off, it's like this little disc. And if you hold it where his neck is, you can still get range of motion left and right. Some up and down. But a lot of the articulation is in that neck part. So good articulation there. His arms can go up so he can get the full T pose. It's got bicep swivel. So you can swivel his bicep, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation, and there is bend in the hands as well. So a lot of the articulation that you'd want inside underneath this is probably ab crunch, but he's going to be moving a lot like that. So he can lean forward, he can lean back. As you lean back, his shirt comes untucked, which is a pain, but... You know, you get all that type of motion out of him. His legs can only do the splits this far. It's limited on his pants. It's going to blow out his crotch. Uh, kicking forward, not so much. That's about it. Double jointed knees work really well. Ankle bend. And then there's pivot in there as well. These are like rubber boots that go over the skeleton of whatever it is underneath. So you get that articulation still in there. It's just hidden. Leon holds the rocket launcher very well. And the rocket being shot out looks great. And I love just, I really like the optics on the rocket launcher. And how he can actually lean in there and utilize the optics. Leon with the flamethrower looks super badass, and honestly, as I'm looking at him holding onto these weapons with that uh, battle-worn head, I don't even know which one I want to utilize. They're both really awesome, and I love all the accessories that come with them. I actually equipped his pistol in the holster. Uh, we got the flashlight. Let me get it to focus here. Got the flashlight on there, uh, his combat knife. We got the radio the wiring going on and it actually clips onto the vest it's it's the the detail is amazing this is a amazing looking figure i can't get enough of just posting up the figure with his weapons they look very very clean they're nice looking I just wish we would have got muzzle flashes for the smaller guns. We got the flame effect for the flamethrower, the rocket shooting off with the rocket launcher, but we didn't get any muzzle flashes for any of the pistols or even the shotgun. That is a little bit of a bummer to me. 
When it comes to Limb Toys and this being my first experience with that company and their product, definitely going with the special edition is the way to go because you get so many fun accessories and you really feel like you're getting your dollar's worth when it comes to these figures. Uh, I, I just, all the accessories, the detail, the quality, it's definitely worth every penny. And I plan on looking into more Limb Toys items in the future. But this figure I really got because, I mean, I don't have a lot of Resident Evil figures in my collection. I really wanted a nice 112 scale police officer, and this works beautifully. Um, it, it's awesome. I really, really like this figure. Sure, we could have got some muzzle flashes with them. But honestly, with every other company now starting to do those muzzle flashes, you start to have some. And if you don't, you know, easy one to pick up are the Battleverse ones or Super Action stuff. So definitely check those out if you're looking for muzzle flashes. But it's cool that we have the ports in these guns so we can take these figures to the next level. And that sums up my unboxing and review of Lim Toys RPD Officer Biohazard 2 uh, figure. If you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as it helps the channel evolve and grow. And make sure you hit the silver bell notification so you know when I post up a new video. Also, I want you guys to check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. All the information is going to be down below. And most importantly, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.